Goronyo is one of at least seven areas in Sokoto state under frequent attacks by terror groups known locally as bandits, with over 42,000 people reportedly displaced, while others joined vigilante groups to protect their villages. The activities of the bandits in this area is threatening the businesses of point-of-sale operators and excluding the residents from financial inclusion. One of those affected, Abbas Muhammad 32, who became a point-of-sale agent after losing his teaching job during COVID-19 pandemic lockdown in 2022. He was, however, attacked on September 17, 2021 by bandits who robbed him in his house and took 3.2 million naira from him and his POS machine. I just see people come, drag inside my house. They are, they are two in numbers. They, they come with a gun inside, beat me on my head. They put gun on my head. And after that, they enter room and come take my back. There is my money inside and my phones and my POS machines okay. and the charge cards. While Muhammad continues to run his business activities after the incident, many other POS agents have left the community because of fear of being attacked. Access to financial services in Nigeria show that 38.1 million of the country's 106 million adults, or 36% of Nigerian adults, remain completely financially excluded. Suraj Umar, another POS agent, claimed the insecurity in the community has affected him as people no longer do business there and the residents now keep their monies at home. Suleiman Zeyano, Secretary of the Security Committee in Goronyo, called for intervention as he lamented lack of financial services caused by banditry.